This question comes from Sylvia. I try Facebook and IG boosts. I only get a few likes but no sales. Do running ads on social media really work? If so, can you please tell me how do I get sales? Uh, you would do better if you know better, you know what I'm saying? And you gotta stop boosting posts, you know? So you have to Google Facebook as manager and that's where you wanna start with that. Um, you know, I get this question a lot and honestly, even if you get a couple of sales, um, does that really mean you can pay your bills? you know, from social media. So even if you do get a sale or two here, you know, you're really not a legit business, you know what I'm saying? And so uh, we gotta stop playing ourselves and thinking that, you know, a couple of sales is, is what's gonna keep us in business. Um, the truth of the matter is even a broke clock is right twice a day, but you wouldn't count that clock to tell time, you know what I'm saying? So uh, before you can even get sales, you gotta get customers. Um, and I understand, you know, you're really not in business until you have customers, and I've been there, but the answer is really simple. Before you can get sales, you need customers. Before you get customers, you need leads. And that's kind of the rhythm that you have to be in business. Leads, customers, sales, repeat. You understand? So uh, leads are people that are interested in your business uh, or what you have to offer. And nine out of 10 entrepreneurs are selling to strangers. You know, they spend all their money selling to strangers. And it's like buy this and click here, click that. And you know, like I'm not clicking no strange link. You know what I'm saying? Like you'll get scammed out your drawers clicking a link you've never seen before. You know, so if you want to build consistent sales the right way, you need a steady flow of leads first. Uh, and you got to turn them into customers. And a quick example of that is like, let's say you have a natural hair care product line, right? So instead of just selling to strangers, one of the things you could do is finesse them with your knowledge so that you can get their contact information. And you do that through like guides or how-tos or ebooks, different things like that. So again, like if you're a healthcare line, right, you could do like a, a how-to guide on how to get um, glorious, luxurious natural hair, you know, seven tips to glorious natural hair or something like that, or, or, or five tips to uh, Hollywood natural hairstyles, anything like that, or get someone to want to give you the information. Uh, that's how you build that relationship starting out. And that's how you build trust. You build trust through information. Uh, and then after you take your lead out on a couple of dates, that's how you turn them into customers. And uh, dates in, in the marketing world is social, um, social media or sales touch points. You know, so once you get the information, you retarget them uh, on YouTube or on Instagram or on Facebook. You do an e-blast, you do a text blast, you can run contests, um, in-store promos. There's so many different ways that you can reach out and touch a customer before you even ask for the buy. So before you ask for the buy, you want to build trust. You know what I'm saying? You can ride the wave and you can reach more customers in 48 hours or less at iconicgenius.com.